What's up, everybody? Welcome to After Sheldon. I'm Andy Haynes. I'm your host. Wow, did you guys just watch the episode? It's going to be crazy. It's crazy. What happened? What just happened, you guys? There was theft. There was death. There was religion. It's a wild episode. I'm so excited to see what's, what's going to happen in the young Sheldon universe. Sheldon Cooper, wow, you do so much for me, but honestly, I... I, I'm reeling. I'm like, like if I had to go to bed right now, I wouldn't be able to go to bed because I'd be like, I'm too excited. You know, like my heart's pumping. Um, anyways, um, yeah, let's talk about it. Um, so big week in um, film. I uh, I went and saw this this movie, the uh, the killing of a sacred deer. More like the killing of two and a half hours of my life. <laughs> uh, I was like, why don't you, you should put on Young Sheldon. I yelled that in the theater and they wouldn't, they wouldn't do it. Why isn't every episode of Young Sheldon two and a half hours? Anyways, uh, we have some great guests today. Let's, let's get over here to the couch. Um, I, um, I'm just so excited. I, I, I mean... You guys saw. Everybody here saw the episode. Um, we 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 met Sheldon's Mima or grand, grandmother, uh, played by the famous Annie Potts, who's famous for Ghostbusters. Back when Ghostbusters was, um, you know, just guys, just dudes, just dudes like Sheldon. And um, and then we met. Um, I don't think we. Well, we met some some hospital staff and stuff like that, but. Um, it was a, it was a pretty exciting episode, if you ask me. I was, I, I just, whatever Chuck's doing over there with those writers, those guys are, they're like magicians, like story magicians. You know what I mean? Um, I do want to talk about one thing. I've heard a lot of people um, sounding off on the comments, and um, people keep on bringing up this Big Bang theory, and I want you to stop it because it's not funny. Um, Sheldon is young and that's all there is to it so stop stop trying to like mess with me and bring me down some rabbit hole of whatever fake news you guys watch all right all right let's get our first guest out here you you guys um you might know him from best week ever uh the comedy central half hours he's been on conan he's been on late night with seth myers he's been on late night with jimmy fallon He's an old friend of mine. He uh, emceed my wedding, which you guys remember. My um, my uh, my wife, who I'm, I'm separated from, uh, on the first episode. Well, when we got married, he emceed that wedding. So, but let's get him out here, you guys. Everybody, big round of applause for Nick Turner. How about that? <laughs> hey, Nikki. Hi. Thank you so much. Put your mic on there. Great. I love doing it myself. All right. A little perk. Show Just make business. sure not to put this side showing we can't show that other show this is on the Josh network everybody this is the Josh network but that other show cannot be shown just so you know okay. so don't turn it that way all right hey man how's Hi. it going no it's going good um you mentioned some stuff but i'm really only here to talk about best week ever oh really um yeah every friday night vh1 um it's still going it isn't going currently, but we hope to get it back up and running soon. We're still, uh, I'm thinking about doing a Kickstarter. It ran from January 2013 to May 2014. You know, that's funny that you mentioned that because we do have a Patreon for this show, and uh, we currently have one subscriber, just one. So You're if, welcome. If some of you guys want to step it up, um, I'm going to have to move home pretty soon if you don't. So just, you know, if you want to support, keep going. Uh, yeah, it's a, just kind of a roundup of pop culture of the week, uh -huh. uh, and we zing them. You zing? <laughs> yeah. You we, zing in the news. Yeah, and I do a segment called Greatest Moments in the History of Real Reality Television every week. Oh, that's it's, cool. Uh, it's the number one segment. Do you guys do any uh, Young Sheldon-related kind of humor? Uh, the CBS clips are very expensive, uh -huh. and we don't have the money for them. But it's CBS is a crazy network. They've actually, we aren't even allowed to go over there. So that's... Do they know that this show's happening? I mean, probably. I don't know. They're, they're big over there. I, I keep on talking to Chuck while I yell at his house, 
I'm not a lot there either, but I can drive by and I can kind of shout and say, hey, Chuck, come over to Jash. And then I got to get out of there when real quick. When did you meet? I've never met him. I just am How'd legally. How did signature from him? Um, well, that you know, you can buy it. There's, there's some, uh, there was a fundraiser at uh, the Westlake, Harvard Westlake Academy. I think it's where his kids go. Mm. And I went in and I, I did some silent bidding. That was, I don't know, $550. He didn't sign it though. Oh. Was that just to, was it to someone else named Andy? No, no, I signed it. It's, uh, it's kind of, I thank you for everything, Chuck, from Andy, basically, is what that says. Oh. Yeah. That's interesting. That's a clever way to do it. What else is going on with you? This is live. You got some gigs coming up? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, other than just trying to get Best Week Ever back up and running. Yeah. Um, it's tough now because Michael Che's on Saturday Night Live. Oh yeah, yeah, that'll be hard. And he's kind of a pa it's kind of a package deal. We need to get him. Yeah. And Adam Conover, he's very successful. Yeah, Adam runs Adam. everything. That guy's great. He is hard to get him. But is it hard at all? Like just because I know that for me, I see a lot of my peers that I started with, and they're doing things like you know, living happy lives, and I I don't have that. No, thing. it's not hard. Uh -oh. Anyway. Um, Emily Tarver, she's on Orange is the New Black now. Wow. So, she's tough so to that really was up. a launching pad for most Michael of the people. Michael Gorman, it's tough also because he's on Vice Principals. Jesus Christ. But Henry. You know, I was feeling sorry for myself before this, but sure. like you, you kind of make me feel better. Why? No, I'm just, I've worked with a lot of great people. Yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> I hope to get them back, you know. Yeah, in get them back in. Yeah, yeah, get them back in. That'd be a. So if you want to support Nick's Kickstarter, I'm sure that'll be on his Twitter or something pretty soon. Sure, I'm starting a Patreon to get uh, raise some money to get a, a graphic designer to do my Kickstarter page. That's awesome. And you're living in L.A. now? Yes. That's cool. Do you like it? How about that traffic, right? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people complain, but I love that it took over an hour to get here. Yeah, yeah, it's a good uh, part of town. It doesn't seem that far away. No, it doesn't. And you really do have to drive to Mexico first mm -hmm. and kind of loop back up. Yeah, I don't know. I just like the location. You know, I come out here in the morning usually because it's like I don't want to get stuck in that traffic. So I'll come out and I'll work at a coffee shop and then I'll go run the stairs and then I'll go shower at the gym and might hit a AA meeting or something like that and then I'll come back over to the studio and start getting ready. It's incredible how much there is to fill our days. Yeah. Let's get our second guest out here. How about that? Um, let's Should see. I leave? No, no, no. You can stay right there. You're you're here the whole time. Do you have the? T you the can. The format, as it was explained to me, completely different. Really? Yeah. Really. This is really throwing me off. <laughs> okay. Well, can you stomach it for another couple minutes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll let you know. All right. Our next guest. Um, she's she's written for so many great shows. She's performed on late night television. She's a good friend of mine, and um, let's just let's see what she's up to. Please welcome Lizzie Cooperman. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Hey Lizzie, how are you? <laughs> nice to I see you. Like this. You guys know each other? No, I just I'm very. Oh, put your mic on. Oh. Uh, I'm very chivalrous. Oh, Thank you. I see that. Lizzie, how's it going? Not well, well. I I'll, I won't ask I you until your mic's on. Oh wait, here we go. Can you guys put your? <laughs> Jesus uh, Christ. Oh, Usually I have a guy who does this. No, we don't Carl. have Carl. We don't have the budgets for that. Okay. Just put it anywhere. I just don't want to cover up the Best Week Ever logo. No, yeah, I get it. Okay. Um, so, Lizzie, what have you been up to? I don't even know, really. Yeah? Like, I feel like I'm just, like, floating through the solar system. Uh-huh, yeah. I've been... I. <laughs> I've been there. Do you feel that way? Yeah, very much. I'm having an existential crisis. You are? I mean, this is like the best thing I got going right now. So, right. and I'm 35, so it's like, it's Jesus deal. Christ, I did not think that this is how it was going to end up. Yeah. You know? You're in your 30s? Oh. <laughs> That's rude. Um, but yeah, no, I'm ha I mean, I'm, I'm glad that I'm here right now. Yeah. Because what would I be Snapchatting with a gun in my mouth? Yeah. I mean, well, I don't know. Would you? Good. Do you have no, a gun? Good. I'm not really. No, I don't guns. have a gun. Yeah. How about you, uh, Nick? Uh, gun? Well, uh, I don't have a gun yet, but I did. <clears throat> I did post a picture to Instagram today uh, of a house dressed up for Halloween, 
and it was my neighbor's, and I, I pretended like he had just done it yesterday. Wait, mm -hmm. a house dressed up? Yeah, thing? it's oh. like he decorated oh, it, that, and then yeah. I, I took a picture, and I was like, my neighbor just put this up yesterday. Okay. I've never uh, heard anyone describe it And it, it was like not that. a hit, and I was forced to apologize on an Instagram story for lying. So it's been a roller coaster. Nick, on your web series, You're Killing Me, uh, your character wakes up from a coma and finds out about the modern world. Um, why haven't you done an episode where he's asleep in his big coma and somebody turns on young Sheldon and the laughter brings him back to life? <laughs> um, I, don't, I, I don't know, but uh, I'll talk to Comedy Central about it. That's really funny, but... Uh, leave that? Thanks. Keep going. <laughs> um, we did uh, have an idea uh, where... He, he watches Big Bang Theory is on in his coma, and when he wakes out of his coma, every time he hears the Big Bang Theory theme song, he uh, like freaks out because it's like he gives him PTSD. Yeah. I, what is the Big Bang Theory? It's a scientific theory about um, the creation of the universe, and that is. The <laughs> yeah. only What's the thing theme it is. song? Yeah. It, our like, whole universe yeah. is in a dark, dense state. Nearly 14 million years ago, expansion started. Wait. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> Lizzie, you worked with Nikki Glaser on her Comedy Central show. Can you tell us what that was like, and if you know there, whether she likes Young Sheldon and what her phone number is? <laughs> yeah, I don't have her phone number memorized. Mm -hmm. um, I we've never talked about Young Sheldon. Okay. I felt it maybe coming up like it wants to reach the surf surface of the conversation, but it hasn't happened yet. Yeah, she has um, two dogs. Yeah. What's the ugly one's name? Marion. Yeah. <laughs> you should have said, I don't know which one But you're she's about. ultimately like the more like loving one. But that <laughs> makes sense because she has She looks like she'd always have ointment on her. That's what the, the Marion You're talking like. about the one that looks like scruffy, right? Well, scruffy in the sense like thinning hair kind of. Like <laughs> right. you can always see its body, right? right. It's like yeah. a pinkish. Hey, Be Nick. Before we get off the subject of Nikki Glazer, I do want to say that the head writer of that show, Dan St. Germain, uh, head writer? He's not the head writer. Dang. He was the head. <laughs> he was Wait. on Best Week Ever. Anyway, I was just. Oh, okay. Oh, oh he's bringing it back yeah. to he's Best Week Ever. He's doing great. He's bringing it back. But we yeah. hope to get him, but he's busy. Yeah. Hey, Nick, we've both had Comedy Central half hours in the last few years. What the fuck happened? Mine was only 12 months ago. Oh. So I'm still right in the sweet spot. Okay. Um, I think uh, just a lot of hard work paid off. Yeah. Jesus, wasn't really. Um, I think it's a, it has a lot to do with um, the fact that Comedy Central doesn't promote them. Oh, yeah. Did so you? Comedy Central knows about it, and they're keeping that secret, baby. How do you deal with... Um, Constant rejection. Yeah. <laughs> I knew what was written on the card. I didn't no, no, I didn't write that. I, yeah, you did. Where do I write that? I wrote Nikki Glaser. Oh. I wouldn't write something mean like that. What, what were you going to ask me about dealing with? Busy. Fuck, Mary kill. Bobby Moynihan. John Larroquette. Larroquette. I can't, but already I can't picture either of their faces. And then, or so the 14-year-old. Actually, John Larroquette was on Night Court, right? Yeah, he was. He okay, was on a lot I of know, stuff. I know. I met him one time. And who's the third he one? Was in, I think he was in Police Academy. Can anybody confirm that? Larroquette? The young Larroquette? I think he was a Beverly Hills cop. Which is the friendliest of, I guess, uh, who's the third person? The, the kid. Oh, Young Sheldon. No. Oh, oh. <laughs> if it was Young Sheldon, that show wouldn't have got canceled. Can I just say <laughs> something about it? Yeah. Because I did watch the uh, trailer, or the promo. For what? For Young Sheldon. Oh, okay. The mom is really disapproving on the show. Like, it's borderline child abuse. Well, you know what? It was Texas. It was a different time. Okay. And, um, you know, we really hadn't kind of processed. You're saying we, like you were there. Well, I'm just talking about us, the proverbial oh, okay. we of, of America. And we were kind of coming out of, um, you know, basically uh, the 50s and the 60s were a time where our nation kind of kind of grew to its boundaries and we tested everything there was kind of a bohemian like backlash against conservatism okay. and market Mar okay. McCarthyism and then we like moved into the 70s that. where that kind of like regressed and we went into conservatism so it was just you know the ideas of like um, 
purpose and maternal qualities and all these things, and especially industrialization and the Cold War. So, you know, it's like, who's to say with Lazy. all that in the air, what's it like to be a mom? Well, I'm just saying, anytime they're going somewhere, she's like, are you sure you want to wear your bow tie? Like she, yeah, but she she's asks them that every time him. they leave the house. All right. Well, I don't know. It was I'd appreciate it if you didn't besmirch. I love the show. I watched uh, the entire uh, pilot. Thank you. Yeah. You did? Uh huh. It was really, really, it was really something. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, Let's you, get our third guest out here. How about oh, that? Sure. Yeah. You guys ready? This guy, um, he's. One of my favorite people to watch on Twitter. Uh, I don't watch him on Twitter. I, I, he, I mean, I guess I do because sometimes he makes videos. But um, he's uh, he he was in um, uh, Flying Lotus's uh, film uh, Cuso. Uh, he collaborates with uh, Thundercat, and he is uh, what, how would I Trash Records? That's mm -hmm. you're you're aligned with them. <laughs> trash Records. Yeah. You're aligned with them. Yeah, just keep it that way. Okay, you guys. Please welcome Zach Fox, you guys. How about it? Yeah. Hi, Zach. Hello. <coughs> Please. Hey, man. Oh, we... Thanks What's for up? coming on. Hey. I appreciate it. Thank you. Hey. hey. Good to see hey. everybody. What's up? How's it going? Pretty good. Yeah? Just chilling, man. You like LA? Uh, I did for a second. I've been out here for a couple months now, and now it's just kind of like, navigating all this like weird sexual misconduct yeah yeah you got to be careful it's which hard. i didn't really have to deal with in atlanta oh okay because like now you can't just like talk about whatever you want to is that what you mean no it's just like now i gotta like vet all these people that like you know what i mean like yeah, you yeah. approach all this like work and these new opportunities now i'm like oh yeah this nigga might be kind of weird but it's not like that in atlanta it's just like this dude's either gay or trying to figure out like when to tell people he's gay. Oh, okay. That's all of Atlanta. Yeah, that's the whole the whole thing. Wow. Is that download thing real out there? Yeah, it's very real. That's why I said it's like really real. I know a lot of people who are not out and that's cool. Yeah. It's cool to be not out. Yeah. What's your vetting process? I don't know. Honestly, just like talk to people, I think, about that person. Mm -hmm. And see if they get like- If they get weird it. about it. Have you been sexually harassed? No. Yeah. I mean, yeah. In like middle school. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think that's sexual harassment. But like I, if you're that young, I think it's like. Is it? I mean, I got molested, so I don't know. It's different. Tight. But I was like, you know, I think just being like blonde, you know, mm. blondes want to have more fun type of thing. And I was in a wheelchair. It was we shouldn't get into it because some of our viewers are our kids, you know, yeah. so we shouldn't talk about it. There should definitely much. be a trigger warning on that. Yeah. So trigger warning. You were Anyways, in a full body cast. I was in a full body cast, yeah. It's a great story. Real time. I wasn't like harassed. A girl just like ran down the hallway from behind me, and as she passed me, she grabbed my junk Jesus. and like yanked it. What? Was it out? No, it was uh, It was after gym class, uh -huh. so I had on shorts. So she was she like, this is an opportune time to grab some dick. Was that your first wow. sexual experience? I thought it was hilarious, but now I'm like, uh, Do you want to out her? Huh? Do you want to out her? I've been thinking about it. Like right here, we could. You want to think about it more? I'm gonna think about it a little bit, but. All right. Her name starts with a B and it rhymes with Bianca. Okay. <laughs> her last name is Green, <laughs> which is a color. So. <laughs> I'm laughing about something I I read earlier today. Is it Bianca? Um, it's Bianca. Um, so did you guys watch the episode? Yeah. You watched it, Lizzie? Yeah, I watched the tri the promo. For tonight's episode? No, I just watched the regular promo. Zach? Mm -mm. Well, that's great. It's oh. awesome. Well, I'll tell you guys what happened because our viewers want to know. Um, so Sheldon, um, his, his grandma shows up, who's Annie Potts, we talked about that. And um, usually, I, oh, I'll just do this so we can kind of make it like a little easier for everybody but um so this is sheldon if you guys want to put one on too you can you can totally put one on if you want to um but um so here they're in church and sheldon's like doing stuff he's like math science numbers because 
Sheldon, I guess, has Asperger's or something, so he kind of just sees like a bunch of zeros and ones. And he, church doesn't make sense to him. And then, um, <laughs> and then his grandma's like, you know, shush, shush. And then, um, anyways, Sheldon logically uh, proves there isn't a God. He does that in front of the whole church. And they're pissed off because, like, that's, you know, it's Texas. You used to live in Texas. And, like, just imagine if you didn't have God, you know? And then, later on, Sheldon's dad has a heart attack because he's addicted to beer. (laughs) It's not funny. (laughs) Is his dad like him at all? No, his dad's very different. His Um. dad is like... um, Kind of a John Goodman. Um, his dad's like the dad from the Wonder Years, but more addicted to beer. Like it's like a real problem. And um, is that a thing? Can you have a heart attack from beer? Yeah, if you drink too much beer, you can have a heart attack. And um, anyways, <laughs> <laughs> best week ever over here. <laughs> I'm his sorry. Best night. I'm All sorry. Right. Well, we got to go to a break. But anyways, <laughs> Sheldon, he he decides that there is no God. And um, but he prays anyways, and he his brother steals a car, and so you kind of flash forward, and you see that maybe his brother has a criminal problem too. This is How hilarious. old is Sheldon in the show? He's nine. That's so funny. That's yeah. a great show. So is this a break? Are we on a break yet? The doctor, I, so I'm, I'm scared because I've slept with this woman and she is what, you know, there's ratchet, you know, like she's out there just like, you know, and anyways, um, so I'm scared, you know, what would I because, know with that bit? Well, because you're from Atlanta. Oh yeah. Yeah. I don't know. There. I know it. You did? Yeah. Oh, did you, do you know what ratchet means? Yeah. I know what it means. Anyways. So she was kind of, I think we're back. So I, I gotta stop telling this story, but. <laughs> You guys, welcome back to After Sheldon, the only Young Sheldon After Show. I'm Andy Haynes. Thank you guys for joining us. Um, We're having such a good time already, such a great episode. Um, We're joined by Nick Turner, Lizzie Cooperman, and Zach Fox. Um, Such a great panel. How are you guys? You guys having fun? Mm -hmm. Do you need anything, Lizzie? Attention. Okay. Let's... uh What's uh? What's I just felt it come over. I wasn't thinking that, and then when you asked, I re- realized that I was. I like that you kept the glove on. Do you want another one? Zach will break. No, it's okay. Okay. Lizzie, um, <clears throat> where are you from originally? Mini- Minneapolis, right? <laughs> you don't have to do this. You don't. Okay. You don't have to do this. Do you? Do you want me to stop? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Let's go to fan mail. How about that? So I got. I'm going to just read some fan mail real quick. We got some great fans. Thank you guys for all the fans that have been um, uh, writing like in. like comments on the show? Do they mail in blue cards? No, they get my producer prints them out and puts them on here. So um, this is the first one. Uh, what's up, Andy? Wow. How great was episode three? How's this guy That's mail so nice. something? He's already seen it. It just aired. I can't believe Shell Don't. Grandma told him to lie to his mom like that. What a crazy family. This is some really cutting edge television. Quick question, totally hypothetical, but let's say you were in prison and a mid-level Aryan guy was making eyes at you. Would you fuck him or fight him? Again, completely hypothetical situation. Not real life at all. But if you could answer ASAP, that would be great. Thanks. 
David Morowitz, Tucson Federal Corrections Complex, Tucson, Arizona. Okay, we keep on getting letters from people that are incarcerated, and I don't know who's vetting these, but it's... But you have to answer the question. Yeah, you got to answer that. <laughs> well, David, um, it sounds like your last name, Morowitz. I'm, it sounds like you're Jewish, and if this guy's Aryan... If this guy's Aryan, what? I was just thinking about the Sheldon connection with the Judaism. Is Je Sheldon Judah Jewish? I think so. No. I don't think so. Really? Not no. in Texas. Sheldon? The name Sheldon? There's no Jews yeah, in Texas. Rap his last name is Rappaport. No, his last name is Cooper. Oh. Yeah. You should know. Okay. Okay. Um, that's close to you. Michael Rappaport should be young Sheldon, though, now that you bring it up. Anyways, I would fight this guy because it sounds like he's anti-Semitic if he's an Aryan guy. Right. And... Um, I don't know. I mean, unless you want to have sex with him, then you guys should. But like, that's that's totally up to you. I are you allowed? Does anybody know if you're allowed to have sex with another prisoner? You aren't. You aren't. No. Even if it's same sex. Right. Okay. So there's your answer. Damn. So that means prison rape is double illegal. Yeah. It's like it's not bad enough, but the, even the rapist is uh, committing a crime. But he's it's two crimes. Two crimes. But so wait, wait, but do you get in trouble? I don't want to use the R word. I do. Okay. <laughs> I'll say it. Just point at me and I'll say it. Okay, well, Ratchet? in prison, <laughs> rape. Oh. The person who gets raped, do they also get in trouble? Uh, yeah, yeah, everyone does. Wow. Really? Yeah, you get uh, sent to. So it was to like high school when you get in a fight prison. and they send both people home. Mm -hmm. They're like, I don't care who was raping who. <laughs> It doesn't matter to me. You're both going in the hole. When's the last time you got in a fight? 2015. What about you, Lizzie? I have to think about it. What about you? I actually have seen you almost get in a fight in New York. Almost. Yeah. Nick is a guy you don't want to mess with because he gets like hangry or something. You just get, oh, yeah. you get hangry. You get upset, man. I've uh, seen you mad. Yeah, well, here, you, you know, in New York City, people um, fucks with you on the street. Yeah. And a lot of people like you will be like, <laughs> don't, That's not please, true. That's not true. my pants. My but pa I Mike will. Mike Pence? My pants. Because remember that time you got your pants stolen by that guy on the street? Yeah. But anyway, I will say no. Not today, Buster Brown. And they usually back off. Buster Brown? All right. Oh, it's been a while. Letter two. Hi, Andy. I'm such a huge fan of the show. I think it's so effing cool how y'all get really get into the deeper meaning of young Sheldon. Thank you. I'm glad that somebody is paying attention. As a repeat offender serving a life sentence, I really want to connect with you. One question that's been on my mind the past few episodes is when do you think Sheldon will start dating? I hope soon. If his approach to dating is anything like his approach to music class, we're in for a treat. Lovingly signed Meredith P. Blanchard, Maryland Correctional Institution for Women. Jessup, Maryland. Well, Meredith, um, thank you for writing in, and I appreciate the kind words. I'm guessing that um, Sheldon probably won't start dating for quite a while because he's pretty wrapped up in science and things like that. When, how old were you guys when you started dating? Fifteen and a half. Really? Mm -hmm. Is that when you lost your V card? No. Nah. It was the next year. That's it. Yeah, I took some, took my time. How about you, Lizzie? I think it was. I think it was dating. Uh, I don't want to ask. No, you when the you first time I went to a movie with a guy was like twelve or thirteen. How old was he? He was my age. Okay, that'd be weird. We if We got it was a like ride. A, okay. I didn't go on a proper date till um, last year. Really? I was twenty-six. Jesus Christ. Yeah. How was it? It was alright. I'm still with him. Oh really? Mm-hmm. But that you? was like the first actual real date. And that's your girlfriend now. Yeah. What, you just not, you just weren't interested in it? What, dating? Yeah. No, just everything else kind of like went from A to Z like really fast. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you're a good looking a to, guy. A, oh, a, a, to, a to fucking. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess it's up to you, you know, you got to ask someone out. But it, it it never was. I, I think, my problem yeah. with, I think my whole with thing sex was, is every time I have sex with a lady, yeah. I fall in love with her. Me, I, well, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Do you ask people if they want a Z? 
if they want to see. That's funny, Lizzie. Oh. Thanks. That's kind of cute. <laughs> Do you want to see? Do you want to see? <laughs> Do you get it? Yeah. Uh, I would know what you say. If you, <laughs> you like, yeah, and unfortunately. I, and if I was right. like, <laughs> I got it. If you came All up to way, me and you were like, do you want a Z? I would be like, she's probably talking about sex. Oh, I thought it would, it would mean, do you want to get a turn into a zombie? Mm. World War Z. You know they're making a second one. Yes! <laughs> Exciting. Cool. Do you have a dog? Huh? Do you have a dog? No, I really want one. Yeah. I grew up with, with dogs. Yeah. My mom loves dogs. She grew up with them. Do you, are you from Atlanta? Yeah. What part? Uh, I lived everywhere. Everywhere. East side, south side. What's Went the to a magnet school on the north side. Well, with arts? Yeah. That's cool. You, you're you kind of an arts-driven guy, right? Yeah. What's uh, what's your main medium? Uh, the internet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> These days. But yeah, I mean, lots of drawing and comics and... I saw and you were talking about um, screaming into a pussy. Is that what it is? Mm-hmm. Is, wh is that what it's called? Yeah. I really liked that a lot. I mean, it's not really young Sheldon appropriate, but it's like... It's an installation I'm working on. Oh, really? Yeah. Lizzie, you good? Yeah, I'm just looking around at the decor. Okay. Yo, Andy, my name is Wallace Grimms, and I'm writing from my home in San Antonio, Texas. That's where the Alamo is. Well, it's not really my home, more of a halfway home, but that's not important. How good is young Sheldon, dude? The best, right? Yeah, it is. Uh, it's so cool to see basically the same story of me as a kid, but not on TV, except Sheldon grows up to be a rocket scientist, and I focus more on chemistry, if you know what I mean. Anyway, uh, keep up the good work, and let me know if you know any good lawyers around San Antonio. Why would I know lawyers? Because I'm about to talk to some dudes next week, and some bullshit parole violation, and I don't even know what they're talking about. Hugs, Wallace. All right. You guys ever been arrested? You've been arrested. What was it? Uh, drugs. I one for once for weed and and once for the appearance of some vandalism. I wasn't even doing. No, but I've been like picked up by a police car. Ooh. Why? For walking out at night. For being too pretty at <laughs> night. <laughs> For walking too slow, he caught you. Damn, I'm gonna have to take you in out. for walking <laughs> while hot. You're too pretty to be walking. <laughs> All right, well, I gotta move on. The producers are mad at me, so <laughs> that's great. But I'm in trouble on my own show. Can I just ask a question? And it does relate to the show. Yeah. The bow tie. Mm -hmm. Does he wear the bow tie constantly? Is that just like his... It's different bow ties in each episode. It's different bow ties for every episode. We're trying to get a bow tie budget. If you budget, were an actual like genius, like, that would be so on the nose. Why? Just because that's the uniform of a, like, a genius. This is 1989. Things weren't, like, rote. I know? feel like, yeah. I don't... I, I, can, can, I, can I say something? Sure. You know, also, he might be in the Nation of Islam. So you don't even think about that. Here's the thing. A nerd wears glasses. But he's a different kind of nerd. No, I understand. But but you're right. saying this is like some stereotypic. But a stereotypical nerd would have glasses, maybe bow tie. Oh. But okay. not saying that you're a nerd. This backfired. <laughs> you're <laughs> this backfired. super cool. I get it. Or like acne or something. I mean, he's nine. That's me. Oh. But um. Yeah, like a pocket protector. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, he's I like mean, a nine-year-old. Okay. He just he went doesn't to high have school. glasses in the show. No, he has Asperger's. Isn't that enough? Oh. Do you want him to have... Do they say that? Uh, they hinted it. Oh, they do. Yeah, it's why a lot of people, um, if you go to like some of the Young Sheldon subreddits, um, there is a theory that he becomes the young doctor, the good doctor. Oh. Whoa. Is and, there like a vaccination that's show we've seen. What? thing? A what? Like, was he vaccinated? I mean, I'm, I'm sure... Well. I'm not here to spread any kind of messages. Oh, you're talking about, is that where his Asperger's comes from? I'm not trying to spread any kind of messages. I think we should give them smaller doses over a longer period of time. Okay. We can talk about it. Well, I got a tetanus shot, like, a little while ago, and that, it hurt for, 
weeks. Really? Weeks. Those are that's a thick needle. Yeah, they went deep in it, and I had to look away, and um, I had to pay for that with my credit card because I don't have any money. But um, all right, let's see. Um, <clears throat> well, I I think we're gonna go to break really quick. Um, I did some. Uh, well, you'll see. But I I decided to do some promotion for the show uh, on my own uh, time and and budget. Um, and uh, it was it was really fun and dangerous. So you guys take a gander, and uh, we'll be right back from this break in uh, two shakes of a lamb's tail. <laughs> Are we back? Great, you guys, welcome back. Uh, <laughs> That's not going to be shown forever because it was illegal, and um, I probably could get in some trouble. Uh, let's <laughs> let's check in with the comments. Let's see what everybody who's watching has to say. Um, oh, it's okay. I should turn the volume off so this doesn't. Oh, there I am. Okay, cool. Let's see what uh, Zach Fox, our Lord and Savior, says. Ed Edgardo Almazan. Do you know him? Yeah, that's my boy. All right. You know who that is? Mm-hmm. Cool. Do you want to shout him out? Uh, what's up, Edgardo? <laughs> Somebody, David Vincent wrote, this absolutely rules. You're right, David. <clears throat> Ryan Books, Leslie said, at first I thought your shirt said Benghazi. That would be a cool <laughs> shirt. Because this one, it says Bang Bazinga. Bot. But it's just, it's just like, what is, it's like a, I saw it at Target, and I was like, that's a funny shirt, but I don't know what it means. Oh, Ryan Joseph Malone redeemed himself with that billboard. Boy, did I. I'm like a, I'm like a street artist. Shauna Rovito, hey, say my name. Hey, Shauna, don't tell me what to do. All right, well, that's enough of that. Um, I was looking at uh, one, another episode, and, and the, the best comment I saw on this show was someone just called you the N-word. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Like with the ER, and I was like, "Damn!" Was it a <laughs> like? I don't know if that means they really was like it. Was it a white person? I'm. I mean, I'm sure. Like, yeah. The, I mean, but what if it wasn't? That is, um, I like. I don't know how a safe place to say. But, you, but it was just that. But with the that long, was the only word. In when the you say it with the hard ER long, it's mm. like a sensual, right? <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? If you roll the tongue at the end. Yeah, I can't say it, but you know what I'm saying. Right. There's like, oh, anyway. you put, yeah, you know that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you anyway, get it. Yeah. Um, all right, let's go to um, current events. What do you guys think young Sheldon would think of North Korea? He loves science, and atomic bombs are absolutely full of science, so he might like that part. Also, he's brutally honest, and Kim Jong un uh, is much younger than his peers and doesn't get the respect that he deserves, and that's something that Sheldon can really relate to. Yeah. I I think he would do well in the regime. Yeah. Like if he grew up in North Korea, he would be like the head scientist or something. Do you think you, Kim Jong Un had he killed one of his uncles by feeding him to dogs? No. Yeah, but do you think that maybe there'd be part of you that liked it because it would be like just like getting kissed a bunch by a dog? Mm. Oh, definitely at first. You know what I'm talking about? When they're coming at you, you're like, I know this is going to suck, but Wow, this is cool. Because that's the thing that's weird about it. You get attacked by like three pit bulls. Ow, this hurts. You're tearing my body apart. But if you get attacked by like, let's say a hundred um, Pomeranians, like even if they're biting you, it'd probably be kind of fun. I hope this doesn't ruin the bit, but that story's bullshit. Is it? Yeah. All right. It was widely reported, but debunked. Wow. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, let's move on to another current event. Donald Trump. Yes. Uh, doesn't Kim Jong Un has an outdoor office? Does he? Debunked. Really? That's not true. No, I've never heard that. Have you ever seen him? <laughs> what like a weird he's always of... sitting outside at a desk. Any photo I see of him working, it's always in an outdoor at an outdoor desk. Just, wait, <laughs> I'm really? Serious. Look up missile site. Like he works at the Look missile up site. Missile site. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's Ask about missile site. He Google missile at a desk site. Outside with like two guys sitting next to him. He does all his work outdoors. Do you think that he like surfs the internet? Yeah, I think he's on the pizza tracker. I think he's. But I'm being, on, I'm being serious because like when you guys yes. go to the internet, like you guys just surf constantly, but we probably all surf the same things. 
Well, also, I know what you're talking about, and that's not his office. That's, oh. That's just where he sits when the launches happen, and they, okay. like, they take photos of him. Like, but he launches a, a bunch space, of... He, he launch, yeah, it is a workspace. You're right. He probably does. He's, he's there so space. often. Let's, kinda, like, let's office. try to yes and this, just for like our viewers' sake. Okay. No. Zach. If that, then... If that's true, then what else? What? Kim Jong-un? What about it? You like him? Uh... I like him in the sense that if you put him and Donald Trump in a room, I know Kim Jong would beat the shit out of Donald Trump. Yeah, that'd be awesome. That you, isn't that. Cool? It's almost like yeah. when you're watching Godzilla and like yeah. Godzilla's such a fucking idiot that the Japanese people get like this weird Stockholm syn- syndrome for oh, when him. When they feel bad for him. When they feel bad for him when he gets beat the fuck up by like Mecha. Godzilla or whatever yeah. Mothra comes yeah. through. So I feel like Kim Jong Un could be that. Shout out to all our viewers in Japan. Um, what I did want to ask though was, or what you guys did you guys know that back in the day, like when you're, like when your leader of your country fought with another country, you're he fought too. Like he was like at the front of the army and he was like, let's fucking ride. You know, like he would. They were um, stupid for that. Mm-hmm. That's dumb. I don't. How about football players kneeling during the national anthem? Sheldon doesn't like sports because he's not a jock. He's a nerd. I think he might actually say that they should just cancel football altogether, so we could all focus on books and reading and math. What do you guys think? I think he's down with baseball. Baseball is the nerd, the nerdiest thing that there is. What about like ultimate frisbee? That's a lot of action. Baseball you can watch. Is, it's hard to, oh, like, watch. I'm confusing that with frisbee golf. Yeah, that's golf for all things. That's different. Disc, okay. disc golf. Actually, they get kind of mad if you say a frisbee. They do. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. He says they, but he has his own frisbee golf set. I do. Oh. I have all my clubs. Really? Mm-hmm. Because my ex-wife had uh, her father-in-law. Shout out, Scott, if you're watching. What's up, man? Nice to see you. Um, but... <laughs> We used to go play in Minneapolis, where it's quite big. Oh, yeah. yeah okay. Maybe that's why I thought that. Zach, you seem like you got something on your mind. No, 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 nothing. Yeah. So you collaborate with Thundercat. What's that like? You guys friends, or is that a business kind of? No, he's a really good guy. Uh, that's one of my good friends. We've been friends since, like, four years ago. You have that animated thing that you guys do where you talk about stuff, right? Uh, yeah, that was just some, some other person who animated us oh, without- talking, but... Uh, me and him are working on a few ideas for... Because you guys are really funny together. Can you tell him that I, I'm a big fan? And if he wants to, you know, come down and play a set, we have room right there, you know, if he wants to come down and do, you know. Yeah. Just let him know where he's... A, the invitation's always open. I 100% think that he would do that. Really? Which is crazy. But. All right, yeah, <laughs> tell him he's more than welcome. I'm a huge fan. I'll give him, you know, whatever. I'll Uber him here. He, I'll Uber, you know. I'll get him. <laughs> okay, we gotta go. We gotta cut to a segment really quick. Let's let's bring up some. I so I've been you know watching the YouTubes, checking out how people are receiving this show, but also um, how people are receiving Young Sheldon. So I just wanted to let's cut to some of those comments and see what people are, have been saying. Crypto Pitbull, I love this kid. He's going to have a long career. He's not so shy. He's so intelligent. He definitely has what it takes to be a great actor. I love watching him. Great show. Great idea. I'm definitely a fan. Jim Parsons is wonderful. I mean, he's just the narrator, so that's, let's move on. But thank you, Crypto Pitbull, I agree with everything else. I love Sheldon with a passion. That's, wait. whatever your, four, two over two, K, R, O. It's four loco. Oh, four loco, that's inappropriate. All right, let's keep going. I don't know if people realize Sheldon is autistic. Girls only, maybe it should be girls only your comments to yourself because he's Asperger's, which is low spectrum autism. Keep going. John Doe, you don't, you know, I don't really like Big Bang Theory anymore. Yeah, who would because it's not a real show and feared this would be incredibly terrible, but it's pretty good. I really didn't expect this. This young dude (laughs) can act. Thank you. Shout out Ian Armitage if you're watching. We love you, man. Keep going. I grew up in Tucson, Santiago, Murillo. I grew up in Tucson, Arizona in a housing project 
that were once used as Japanese internment camps. Mom had a second grade education. I graduated from high school at 15. If you fucked with me, you got your ass kicked because I know how to fight by way of boxing. Graduated from Stanford at 18 with BS in genetic engineering and my JD from U of A, passed bar exam at 22. Taught my mom how to read, write in two languages. Two out of 10 doctors would recommend me to you if you're a girl. They better, they're my two kids. So there's that. Let's move on. I never watched Big Bang Theory, but this guy is socially retarded. I really want to kick this kid's ass. Reminds me too much of myself at that age. That's psychologically... His name is Jerkwad McGee, so he really, he clearly doesn't like himself. No. It's a lot You're of right. self-hate. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep going. Cool. Hello, Ian Armitage. I wear kids' uniforms. Maddie B, you are my master. I am your slave. Kill me on wrong promise at kiss set comment at K12 High School and Muhlenberg High School YouTube link. I do not kiss a woman. I am a Magusha. No babies at gang code. Castles of Glass Bennington at alcohol bad idol. I agreed with the first part. Well, like Maddie B. Yeah. Ma'am. Schletter, no. Schletter. Schletter, yes. Schletter. Bulgaria. <laughs> That's actually my favorite comment out of all of those. So. Is that a haiku? Yeah. Um, well, I think that's about it for today's show. <laughs> oh, actually, I, cancer. Uh, can, there is one more that I want to show. Um, keep going. This guy's autistic. Oh, to all those people that are bad-mouthing this show, I have something to say. The boy who's playing young Sheldon is my nephew and my godson. He is the sweetest person you'll ever meet. The show has not aired yet, so do not be quick to judge. Uh -huh. My thoughts exactly. Next comment... Hey, Megan, your nephew is an autistic snitch. <laughs> <laughs> but I love the reply. Let's look at the reply real quick. Black Lagoon Death Squad, yo, jackass. My nephew does not have autism. How dare you insult him in my family? Research autism, you ignorant fucking bastard. I like that she's like, research. Like, go out there. Study autism. Find out what's causing it. You ignorant asshole. Someone needs to help my, my nephew. <laughs> uh, thank you guys so much for tuning into this episode of After Sheldon. We are here every um, <laughs> Thursday. Well, you know, because it switches. Because we, oh. we will be here next Thursday, but the week after that is Thanksgiving, which uh, I don't believe there is an episode. But we're here every Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern on Jash's Facebook Live. Uh, please tune in. Tell your friends. Retweet. Tweet. Um, and also sound off in the comments. Uh, next week, we're going to have some more great guests. But for tonight, let's say thank you to Nick Turner, Lizzie Cooperman, and Zach Fox, and everybody over at Wiener Schnitzel. Thank you guys so much for doing what you do. And also at the Passages Rehab Center. I know I still owe you guys a balance, but it's on its way. Support the patron pa patriarchy. All right. Bye. <laughs>